What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Chip from Chip and Dale. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the top edge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side, curl this up, and then back down towards the right. And then from the ends, we're gonna bend this down and in towards the center point. Let's fill the inside of the nose in black. From the top corners of the nose, let's add a fold for the cheeks, coming down and then out towards the side. Now just underneath the nose, we're going to start with a point, and we'll curve the muzzle coming down and up towards the left, go back to the center, and curve down and up towards the right. Let's draw the bottom edge of the chin, starting on the left side, curve this down and back. Now we want to line up with the outside of the nose, step up and draw the bottom edge of the eye. We're going to curve down and then up towards the outside. Let's line this up on the right. Coming down and then up. And then from the inside, we're going to curve the eye, going all the way up towards the top, round out the eye, and then pull that down on the outside. Now I want to pull the pupils towards the inside. Starting on the left side, draw a circle. Going all the way around, bend that in towards the bottom. And we'll line that up on the right. And we'll fill the pupils in black. From the outside corner of the eyes, let's step out and curve the cheeks. We're gonna go out, down. I just wanna pull that in just underneath the chin. Let's go over towards the right. Going out, down, and then we'll bend that in. Now from here, we're gonna go all the way back up towards the top and draw the bottom edge of the hat. Let's start all the way over on the left side. I'm just gonna bend this down on top of the eyes. Go across and then Now going back to the top of the cheeks, I'm just going to curl this around the eye and then back in underneath the hat. Let's add that stripe coming down the center of the head, starting from the top left, bend this in and then down on top of the nose. Now let's bump out the cheeks. From this point, we're going to step out, curl this around and then down. Let's add a point of fur. Tucking that back in. Let's add one more point. Coming down towards the bottom. And we'll add that point. Let's tuck this in underneath the chin. Let's go back up to the top, curve the side of the head, going up and in underneath the hat. Now let's round up the side of the hat and pull that back in towards the side of the head. Round this out, come down, and just bend that in. Now from the very top curve of the hat, I'm just gonna bend this in and then up, just lining up with the side of the head. Do the same thing on the right. Let's connect the ends with a curve, going up the middle, and we'll bring that back down. Now from that same point, we're going to angle the hat going up and in towards the top. Now we're going to bend the hat going up and in towards the center point. Let's round out the middle, come back down on the right side. Let's add that trim on the top of the band, going up the middle and then back down. Now on either side, we're going to add a fold, coming down and out. Let's move to the side of the hat, bend the ears, going up and out. Round up the ear, come down and in on top of the hat brim. From the top, curve the ear, bend this in and then back down. Let's go underneath the chin and draw the inside edge of the jacket. 
From here, we're gonna step out, then it's in, and then down towards the hips. And it'll add a puffy collar along the side. Starting on the top left, come down and in. Let's add another curve. Coming around and in. And we'll do that one more time, coming in toward the inside of the jacket. Now along the bottom, I'm just going to curve the jacket going out and then up to the side. Bring this up and in, just underneath the collar. Let's add a fold in the center of the chest, coming down and out toward the left. Let's draw the bottom edge of that patch underneath the jacket, starting on the left, coming down and then back up with a half oval. And then from the bottom of this curve, we're going to step down, bend this down the middle, and back up. Now you want to leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend the foot coming down and then up. And then we want to round out the top of the foot. We go up and then bend this down aiming towards the heel. And then we'll separate the toes with two curves. Start with the outside, step in, draw that again. Now you want to go underneath the jacket, curve the leg going out, down, and just bend that in on top of the feet. Let's add a trim along the bottom of the jacket, coming in and up. And we'll add some texture along that bottom trim with these vertical lines. Let's move out to the side and draw in the arms. From the top of the body, let's step down, bend the arm going out and down towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle coming down and up, close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come around that bracket, and bend that back in. And we'll add two more fingers going out towards the side. Going out and then up. And then the third finger, we're just going to pull this up and in underneath the collar. Let's separate the cuff. Start from the top of the thumb, we'll bend this up and then out, step up, and draw that again. Now you want to add that same texture across the cuff. And then we'll add the tail coming out from the left side. Start from the side of the leg, bring this down and up. I'm just going to curve that back in towards the leg. And we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Chip from Chip and Dale. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.